Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander, Forge Alliance Forever. That's right, a cast. How long has it been? So, we're on Rigor. Rigor, Regor, Six Highlands. Torn Tarambar versus Zlo. Both Aeon. Worst matchup according to Zlo. Yeah, I can see that. Mirrors are not usually as interesting, but especially Aeon Mirrors. I concur with Zlo. So before we get in, uh, I would encourage everyone to play beta, there's quite a few changes in there that I would like some feedback on and playtesting and stuff, so if you feel like hosting beta, it is actually ranked as well, in case you're wondering. So go check it out and check the patch notes, I'll link them in the description. And now I'll stop shilling for beta and we will watch the game. Two labs, one for each player already. Torin kinda, oh, Torin actually made two labs. And two scouts for them as well, but... He, I thought he left one sitting in the base by accident, but I think he probably is gonna send them to the same spot, so he wants to keep them together. And second air. Two labs and second air, that's interesting. So he probably won't go for a bomber then because he has two labs out in the field. He wants to just try and protect himself. But I I would actually still go second, second land here because the only bomber that can do damage would have to come to his base. He has no fast expanding engineers because he needs his engineers in the base because uh, he has less engineers thanks to these two labs. He kills Zlo's lab and then actually seems to be splitting his his two flares. This one has a vet now so he's going to regen. That's nice. Zlo meanwhile also at second land. Ooh, he went secondary I mean and he's gone third air. One, two, three, four, five, six pigeons with the hydro working well for him. He has a lot of mass in the bank. You can see he has a lot of NGs just all over the place. Which I think it's mm, yeah, okay, he reconsiders. He was gonna send this guy across, but of course he knows there's a labyrinth, so really no point in taking that risk. <laughs> And yeah, this lab back to full HP. It is nice to get all this adjacency in the base. I do this as well, but it really fucks the pathfinding for the units trying to get out the factories, which is unfortunate. So we have some tanks sitting in the base. So in the, f in the build order, we probably should have gone into the build order more closely. But uh, there's reclaim here, 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 some here, and there's a rock here. There's reclaim just all over in the starting area. You can get easily over 1k very quickly. So what you want to do is assist your commander heavily. You want to build 4 mexes hydro and then continue on. It's one of the reasons why you usually see second land is because you can make the third factory very quickly and even the fourth factory very quickly. We have three air factories for his low. <laughs> okay, let's see what he can do. Bit some complaints about the amount of inti spam in ladder recently. Which is a, just a bit of a meta shift. But, uh,. Slow's taken that to new heights with <laughs> three of his first four factories being air. He's actually assisting, he's going T2 air right now. 
this engineer is not long for this world. And it is so many inties already, nine inties, he could probably just spam bombers. Yeah, this one factory is just making bombers right now. Torrent, meanwhile, has, you can see, far less reclaim. This mid reclaim is still here. But he has so much less reclaim. I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, it's, it's this area you see is completely cleaned by his law. And some of this stuff here. <clears throat> which is giving him a nice advantage. But, uh... There's one mobile anti-air. The thing about this is that AO bombers can't kill the anti-air in one hit. As other bombers can. They do 200 damage and the anti-air of 250 HP, another NG dies. And Torin loses his air, I think he sniped a bomber here, but he's gonna lose his inties. He should. Yeah, he's gonna retreat to his anti-airs. And maybe they can do some damage. Slow doing his best to avoid them. <clears throat> Torin moves all the way across to here rather than going to mid. Which I think is a good decision because any engineer sent here will probably just get bombed. Often now you see and uh, ACUs will go straight to mid or they will just go here and maybe build a factory or a PD and then go to mid. Because it's a very important area of the map. You can uh, you can get across the map quite quickly. There's some it's not a completely straight line, but this is likely where the main battles are going to take place. So we have already a gunship out with T2 P Gen on the way for slow. He's ecoing. Well he has one max, one T2 max at the minute. I'm kind of surprised Slow didn't use this earlier to drop. Because there are a lot of a lot of places to drop. He can steal his opponent's plateau. He could obviously take his own there's this plateau here, this plateau here, this one and this one. Can also be nice to drop on these hydros, especially seeing as he's going so heavily into air. Thorn's land force, just looking for something to kill. I have no idea why he didn't go this way. He's now running into the ACU, which is just free kills. Or slow bit of bad. Yeah, no idea why he didn't move this way. Could have killed both expansions with ease. <clears throat> now we have slow moving in to win air again. And he has gunships out. There's a lot of anti air. And we don't have any additional air factory for turn, which is. Well, it's kind of bizarre <clears throat> that he hasn't, he's not, his air factory is paused, he's building more land factories when his opponent has zero land whatsoever. I mean, he has one land factory. <laughs> he's going pure T2 air. So making more T1 spam, not that useful. We have, yeah. This is going to prevent Torn from using his ACU in any way, really, unless he gets a lot of mobile anti-air around him. So he's it seems like he's just going to chill here because he's so afraid of a snipe, he's just going to build anti-airs and, and he's going to probably sit in this expansion for a while. Nice gunship here, has to be careful not to run into this anti-air. But uh, the plateau is denied, but still, Slow hasn't taken his plateaus or any of the plateaus on the map. So, what should Torn be doing? Well, he should be making air, obviously. He could also make T2 land to get flex instead of um, T1 mobile anti air, which is not that good. Though people seem to think it's OP, 
since the change. Uh, I don't know. They've not given me any understanding of, of why they think that, to be honest. As you can see, them just getting ripped. And they're quite expensive. So, I would definitely not encourage more T1 lamp factories. Okay, we have this one, Gun T2. We have still more Aurora coming out. I mean, the Aurora will have... They, they, they actually don't have anything to kill. Unless they, in the 10 years it takes to cross them the map, to cross the map, find an expansion, but uh, they're just so slow and they have no T1 land to fight. I don't, I don't get it. He, he could just make Arty <laughs> instead of Aurora because there's no, there's no tanks to fight. Except these, it's just a few here. You can also dodge with these uh, anti airs. You can circle dodge to uh, avoid good chip fire. But uh, he's just ecoing. He's gonna make T2 land. Is he gonna make T3 land? That would be. Well, yeah, he's just spamming. Gonna spam flax. Should get a T2 NG hit though, obviously. Oh, obsidians. See, this is what Slow does here. He just. He makes you wonder what the fuck you're supposed to do against him. He has. He, Slow has basically nothing. 19 mass income, no expansion. And yet, Turin doesn't know what to do. He's, so he's gonna make obsidians. And there's no, there's no units to kill. <laughs> and they're slow as fuck. So now it's low. Slow has double gun. <laughs> slow has double gun and he's making probably shield I would say. So it's gonna be a beast of an ACU. He only has seven gunships. Let's see how much mobile anti air there, there is. Twenty one. Not even that much. And we have a flak. Ah. This is the kind of game where I'm sure Torin just hated himself afterwards. <laughs> I mean, it's not even going badly for him, but but by the units he's making, I feel like it's gonna go badly. So this AC looks like it can just Well it can kill any any land that that Torrent is gonna make in the next few minutes. Like if he's making obsidians versus a double gun. Calm, that's uh, that's not gonna end well. Expansion's dying again. But uh, at least we have some expansion up here for Slow to take. Torrent's grabbing his. This could, again, die to gunships very quickly. Oh my goodness. We have... <laughs> okay, we have double gun shield. Come drop. Into Torrent's base. Or just at the edge of it, please. <laughs> you made two HQs. Oh no. And there's no T2 engineer. Here's one. And another one actually. We have two. Ooh. They need to run. And hope he can make PDs. He even has T2 mechs over here. And he has T2 on his commander. You see, actually, at this point, Turin. <laughs> Or he could just get his flax in and just go to Zlo's base. But really, this. I don't think he can stop this. The shield goes down, one T2PD is up, but all of this build power is gonna die. Oh my god, the shield blinked on to stop that overcharge. And the gunships come in to support. There's a flak, but there goes the shield. I want to overcharge here. Slow shield almost down. He's dodging RT fire and TTPD fire. 
Another overcharge goes in, killing more build power. If still the two T2PDs are up. Slow's retreating his his shield should recharge pretty quickly. Still no expansion for slow. He's dodging. Yeah, he's dodging a bit, but the shield is going to come back, and he should be okay to actually just move in again, but there are three PDs, so unless these gunships can do come in and do some damage, I mean, I think if we saw the gunships move in and snipe the, the engineers, T2 engineers, and then maybe put some damage on the T2 PDs, he could push in again. But over here we have Tor. Looks like he does want to push in. Damn, this obsidian is almost dead, and there was only just some some T1 land. Slow, slow got his shield back, so he's pushing in again, not dodging that well or at all. We have labs. What the? Why is Tor making labs? He's just gonna feed Vet to Slow. Although it also looks like Slow has an um, auto overcharge on. He's gonna be <laughs> overcharging labs. Which is, which is not great. Now we have T2PDs and T1PDs up for Slow and his base. And I think this is just a mass donation. He could actually target down the T2PD. I'm pretty sure he could get that kill. Or T2P gen, I should say. Pretty sure he could get that kill. I'm not sure about about anything else. He does target it. Down it goes. But I don't expect much more from that attack. It's mostly anti airs now. We have a drop of three arties. Sick drop. Torin does not have the attention to take this plateau correctly. We have another T2 Max over here. Damn, what the fuck is this game? So, Slow hasn't had this uh, expansion for Bessie, any of these expansions for almost the entire game. Just dropped three engineers here to grab them again, but it looks like the labs are actually gonna <laughs> move across and raid. A lot of reclaim here that has not been grabbed. And we have another land factory. I get the sense that this factory is gonna go... Is not gonna make T1 land. It's, it's, this could be a T3 factory coming up. Good old Harbs. What was that explosion? Very dramatic. Need some air staging for these gunships. Yes, yeah, in certain situations, especially, you should make air staging. Here, obviously, they have low fuel, but when you're fighting something like. So, when you're fighting flak, usually you, you'll often just lose the gunships. They're dead or they're not. But against T1 MA, uh, Mobile A, you will often just take some damage and escape. And So, when you're your opponent's using them, you should definitely make air staging and get your get your gunships repaired. Torin has returned to his base, he has T2 and he's making a gun upgrade, he's making the speed gun. The only upgrade he can make with T2, <coughs> the only gun upgrade he can make with T2, so... He's gonna try defend, but... He's just, he's gonna have to just make PDs. Slow doesn't give a fuck. Obviously, has complete air control, so there's no danger whatsoever. It, actually, he could just get mercyed. That would be fucking hilarious. Cause he's just right next to the factory, so you could just build mercies and add mercy. <laughs> you definitely get one or two, I'd say. 
which could be enough to push him back again. It'll give you time to just build more PDs and just turtle. This factory is not going to any higher tech, it's just making entries at the minute, maybe in preparation. But yeah, it's like if you if you ever see someone standing next to a Cyber and T2 factory, it's it's a very dangerous thing because a beetle can just pop out of there and uh, destroy you. Same scenario here, really. When you're that close to a, an A on T2 factory, you gotta be careful. So maybe a slight missed opportunity. Couldn't have got the kill. There's just too much HP on the low, but could definitely do damage. We have PDs going up to try and secure these expansions somewhat PD over here some NG's dropped in mid for some reason I guess there's a bit of reclaim still the mid reclaim is here holy shit that's strange and we have a lot of gunships for Zlo and now actually Zlo has the score advantage which does not mean he's winning necessarily but Wow, he's upgrading a lot of mexes. Definitely needs some of this reclaim right now. I don't know what's in the buildings, maybe a hundred or something, but the PDs are okay. Now, how much flak do we have? That's what I would like to see. We have a static flak, which is a rarity. We have some blaze. We have just two flags. So you can see that really. The Torin has lost almost everything he's built in this game. Almost every unit. His land army is just minuscule and filled with mobile A. It's probably the biggest component of his army. Over here we have this completely undefended mexes just die to arties. That's sad. I have, this is actually, this would be a large proportion of his land army right now. Would be these units on the plateau doing nothing. <laughs> but still, he's still raiding. Wow, this army only has mobile A. And let's go. <laughs> Slow can still play anywhere on his opponent's side of the map with this epic commander full vet. Probably thanks to those labs. And oh yeah, you want to try and avoid killing stuff with so much energy because you'll kill reclaim. At this no reclaim now from that T2 Max and only 200 from this one. So that's kind of sad. They could just kill it a bit slower and get all the reclaim from it by using one RT. And we do have that T3 land, the double adjacency factory. It's nice. And a lot of T2 air support factories. We have a Mercy as well. I'm not sure why he's making Mercies. Oh, these mexes should get finished. And we have T3 land from Torin, and he's he has actually can see now he's using a lot of build power on air so it looks like he may be maybe pretty close on air or even ahead slow is going pure swift wind Torin is using a mix which can be can be dangerous actually it looks like Torin has more right now but it can be quite annoying to use a mix because of the different speeds you get with your swift winds and they get wrecked and then you end up with just uh, your indies come in after and they also get wrecked. So you want to try and try and bait with the indies. 
and then micro the Swifties much harder and uh, try and get behind and stuff. So you can kind of um, like attack move or whatever, get the inties in there first, and then uh, and then use the use the Swifties to uh, get in behind your opponent as they're killing your inties. Theoretically, I don't really play Aeon, so I don't get to try that too much. But we have Harbingers. There's two of them. Do we have a T2 transport? For slow? Nope. We have T1 transports. His T2 is, is dead. Oh my! That was a mercy. That just <laughs> killed the TTPD and also hit Torin. And we have an air fight and it looks bad for Torin. I think. Did he fuck his micro up? Yeah, that's. That is fucking awful. Got absolutely wrecked there and, Tor and Slow has a massive air force. Mm, I wish I had known the numbers before that fight. Because Torin fucking. Got shit on. So there's a lot of mass here. 162 from every Swift Run wreck. A lot of mass here, but more importantly, Torin is not gonna have air for a long time. So I would expect T2 transport from from slow. He could make like we can just save these harps and then drop like three transports into the base. Well yeah, there is a problem dropping to this base because there's already so much, so many defenses up. Maybe he could just drop all the herbs up towards commander. Again, risky. But uh, he doesn't have range, so good work. <laughs> Herb just barely escaped. But now Torn in the opposite position of, of where he was before. He's lost his own two expansions. He's actually losing this plateau as well. One mobile anti-air is not going to protect you versus a gunship or two. Commander under attack. How many harvests do we have? Do we have any? Just a single hard, meanwhile slow. He's on seven and he's just running towards the base. Slow needs a couple arties, I think. Because of all these PDs. Torn is really playing with fire here. He has no mobile flak with him. He has three anti airs. There's still a lot of good ships around, isn't there? Well, I missed them dying. God damn it. I'm rusty with this casting. But yeah, it's low. Can't really run in, I think. There's too many PDs. I mean, maybe you could just suicide in and maybe attack this land factory or come in from this side so he only has these two PDs at first to fight. Rather than coming head on and fighting maybe six PDs. Or you could just micro a shit ton to try and dodge these projectiles. But we already have one harp down. And it looks like their shields dropped. He may have run out of power at the exact worst time, but looks like even so he dodged enough TGBD fire the shield went down uh, he should probably be target firing stuff right now damn okay there's t 2 pgen going down this one's still alive but yeah more could have been done here More could definitely have been done, but uh, 
he has a strat, so who cares? <laughs> Didn't even notice T3 air. But uh Yeah, this game is over. What a fucking play. Another strat just about done. Yeah, I think slow just fucked with Torin so hard at the start by not making any land. And Torin just kept making land and not air. And had a huge eco advantage but just made the wrong shit. And then maybe made too many maxes to be honest. Could have been that as well. But uh damn. Torn was so far ahead. But uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for Control K or for uh, Torn to get Strat sniped, or his entire base to be killed by Strat, or whatever is about to happen. Gonna kill the anti airs and the strats. Oh, the strats kill the anti airs as well. And the harps finished horn off. Oh, this was so insanely bad. <laughs> Damn, that was that was fucking weird. What a game. Yeah, I think Torrent just got bite fucked. Didn't know what to do. And Zlo just capitalized. He had the gunships. The mobile A didn't really do that much. The T1 mobile A was not that good. And Torrent made T2 land units like obsidians. I mean, Blaze, that's fine because they're fast as fuck, so you can raid quickly but I mean obsidians when there's no there's like five aurora and nothing else and you can make obsidians that's that's a bad call right there I should have just been adding the build power to air a lot earlier you should see the three air factories and one land factory but uh Nice game from Zlo. Classic Zlo game. Just do something so weird that your opponent has no idea what to do. And win. So GG, thanks for watching. And play beta.